What is going on guys, Tazwafa here, and welcome to Slime Rancher 2. Now this game is in early access, it isn't fully developed or anything like that, they're saying it's probably going to be done within like a year and a half, two years or something, but it's in early access right now, so we're just going to check it out, see what it has to offer, and see what all they added to Slime Rancher. Now if you guys don't know, I already did a series playing Slime Rancher, and I even did a Slime Rancher modded series, but eventually ran out of things to do, but today we're going to be starting up Slime Rancher 2, and without any further ado, let's jump right in, and let's begin. Oh wow, a lot of rhymes right there, that was completely unintentional. <laughs> Anyways, let's choose our save icon, we can have a pink slime there. Now that looks like a new slime there, I don't think that's like a rock slime, is it? Yeah, that's another one there, it's like a bat slime. Okay, that's the... Is that a boom slime? I can't remember. And that's like a bunny slime. That's definitely new too. That's a crystal slime. There's the fire slime, yeah. Oh, that's like a butterfly slime. And there's the honey slime there, or the syrup slime I usually like to call it because I'm a waffle, right? And there's, oh, the hunter slime. And there's the, what was it? The phosphor slime, yeah. The one that's at nighttime, yeah. Then there's the pond slime, I think, right there. It might be a new one. Oh, that's definitely a new one. It's got a big tail. I wonder if that's like a beaver slime or something. Or like a bear slime. And I think that's just a rock slime. And then there's the tappy slime. And then we're back to pink slime. Okay. Well, there's no like gold slime or anything cool like that. I guess I'd just go back to the standard pink slime. There you go. I guess we'll keep the tutorials. I don't know if it's going to tell me anything new there, but I'll keep it on anyways. Tars, yeah, sure. Keep those enabled. And feral slimes, yep. Player damage one time. So what does this tell me? Modifies the damage received by the player from all sources. Reducing this can reduce difficulty, while increasing it can increase difficulty. Okay, so it goes from 0.5 to 1.5, and I guess 1 would be in the middle-ish? There's no, like, 0.75, though. That's kind of weird. I guess I'll just keep it at 1 times. There you go. Let's keep it at that. And it looks like we're going to be starting in. Oh, look at this loading screen. Ah, we got little phosphorus slimes in the background acting as a loading bar. That's cute. And there's Beatrix LeBeau. After a long day of slime ranching, Beatrix LeBeau was enjoying a cool glass of carrot juice as she watched the sun set across the slime sea. Suddenly, a boat arrived at her dock with nothing inside but a mysterious letter. Ooh. Oh, cool. It's like moving all over like a table here. You have explored the far, far range from the dusty shores of the dry reef to the furthest reaches of the perilous glass desert. But there are worlds yet uncharted, Beatrix LeBeau. Rainbow Island awaits you. Climb aboard if you're ready for a new adventure. Haha, <laughs> I'm definitely ready for it. Oh, whoa, look at that! That's dumb, like I know why they call it Rainbow Island, look at that! And even the boat has like a face on it, like a slime. <laughs> I wonder if the boat's made out of slimes. A boat slime. <laughs> Anyways. Beatrix excitedly boarded the boat, and it took her across the slime sea. Eventually, she saw an island unlike anything on the far, far range. Mountains, trees, and grasses all in an array of colors that danced and moved like a dream. Ooh. Oh wow, what's this? A new lab or something? As she explored, she found an abandoned conservatory overlooking the rest of the island. Curiously, it was equipped with everything a slime rancher like her would ever need to wrangle slimes, start a farm, and build gadgets. Cool. That's a crazy coincidence right there, right? And looks like Beatrix ready to start ranching up some slimes, huh? And so a new adventure begins. Beatrix tightened her boots, readied her backpack, and set out to explore Rainbow Island and uncover its mysteries. Haha. <laughs> awesome. Well, looks like we're jumping right in, you guys. I like how they're uh, adding more to the story here. Oh, wow. Immediately jumping into this new conservatory that we found, huh? Holy heck. I might need to fix some of the settings here in just a minute, but yeah, I, I set the FOV to be really wide, but I might need to zoom it in a little bit, but looks like we've got some pink slimes over here. Yeah, hop, sprint. Let me do that. So it, uh, there you go. Moves on and then we can get a pink slime. Cool. Look at the pink slime. Their coral hue is scientifically proven to be the color of cheer. <laughs> And there we go, we're sucking up the pink slimes, cool. Yeah, I think I'm going to fix up the, uh, yeah, it's telling me about backing up the slimes. Let me fix the FOV, because it's a little bit, oh, jeez, I thought I set it to 90, yeah, set it to, there you go. Must have set it to 100 without even realizing. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Oh, look at this, here's this, the port market, is this, yeah, oh, man, uh, the prices are about what you expect in the first game. I guess those are the new gold ports up there, and there's a whole bunch of room for a bunch of new ports over there, too, golly. Uh, oh, chickadoos? 
Oh, we got a chickadee. So little and soft. You think they're filled with marshmallow. Oh, so cute. And yeah, it looks like we can make some corrals over here. You've acted up a slime. Slimes are key to your success. Shoot slimes through a corral barrier. Oh yeah, over here. Uh, into the corral on the ranch. So yeah, there's already one set up over here. Yeah, they're doing a bit of a tutorial over here. Yeah, the slimes are able to go through them from the outside, but they can't go from the inside to the outside, which is cool. Yeah, look at that. So they're stuck in there now. What if there's any new upgrades? Ooh, look at this. High walls. Yeah, that's internet. Yeah, these are all the same. Solar shield. You need that for the phosphor slime, port collector, and auto food. Yeah, and I see. Oh, jeez. Don't want to demolish. But it does look like there's a lot of room. Like, look at all these over here for uh, potential new upgrades. So that's going to be cool. I wonder if they took any inspiration from the modded uh, upgrades that we played in the modded series. And what's this thing over here? Is this uh, where we get the missions, the quests and stuff? Probably. This is a system offline with no Wi-Fi signal. So <laughs> I can only imagine it's going to take place a little bit later. But for right now, I guess we can just keep going around here. Maybe get some more chickadees because we have one right now. You would just generally just look around. Oh yeah, look at that, we got a big old hen hen. There you go, that's what it's called, hen hen. <laughs> Tasty food acquired. Food like fruits, vegetables, and chickens are used to feed slimes. Try shooting food at the pink slime and they'll eat anything. Yeah, the pink slimes will eat anything. Uh, then there's other slimes like the tabby slime that only eats, what, like meat? Yeah. And then other ones that only eat like fruit, other ones that only eat like vegetables or whatever. Yeah, look at this, a baby chickadee right there. Kind of hard to see, blending with the sand a little bit there. I don't, oh, look at that, we got a rooster. Cool, so now we can actually make well, if I kept that hen hen there and didn't feed it to the pink slimes, we'd be able to make more chickadoos, but look at this view of the slime sea. Can I go up there? Do I have my jetpack? Uh, no, nah, I don't think I have my jetpack right now, so I can't really do parkour all out all around here. But oh, is this a new area that we can unlock? Hold on. How much does this cost? The gully. This expansion to the conservatory is surrounded by tall rock formations and covered in amber grass. We have 250 new bucks out of 1800 to buy it. So that's actually kind of cheap. I wonder if we can get a bunch of new bucks. Uh, oh, hold on. There's a hen hen right there. Cool. So if we made a coop around here, where would I put it? Probably next to where the pink slimes are, I guess. Just to kind of keep everything up in one place. So am I able to make a coop over here? There's a corral, garden, coop. Yep. And then silo, incinerator, and then pond. Yeah, all the same stuff from the first game. I assume we're going to get new stuff either later in this game or later as they continue developing Slime Rancher 2, because like I said earlier, they're in early access right now, so we're not quite finished with the game just yet, but I think I'm going to build this because I have exactly enough new bucks to do it, so 250 out of 250, ba-boom! And now we have ourselves a little coop over here, so I'll put a rooster in there, put a hen hen in there, and two little uh, chickadoos. There you go, cool. So hopefully we can get some more hen hens to feed our uh, pink slimes over there, and speaking of such, I'm just going to look around here, and look at this tree in the middle, golly! Just going to look around, see if we can find any fruit or vegetables to feed. Just because all I've fed them so far is just meat. And we need to have a much more sustainable way of feeding them that doesn't rely on hen hens and stuff, right? But so far, I'm not seeing anything right now. Oh, wait. Oh, well, there's was another hen hen right there. I guess I'll grab them. There you go. Yeah, it even says the food type at the top of the screen says it's meat. I think we're going to have to explore around, like actually go out. Oh, wait, there's the boat we came from, right? Yeah, it's got a little face on it. Oh, anything else around here? I don't see anything. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's so cute. Let's go down there and see. Oh, new Slimepedia entry, Rainbow Fields. I guess we could read that. Shifting colors like a dream, fading just as quickly. Now, if we go down here, yeah, we can get some water from this, right? Am I able to vacuum up some water from this? Oh, I need to get an upgrade for my vac pack. Man. Anything else on the boat I can get? Nah, I guess we took everything off. Man. All right, well, let's just explore around a little bit, I suppose. See if we could find any fruit or vegetables. Just kind of out and about here in the Rainbow Valley or whatever it's called, right? Oh, more pink slime. Look at this. More pink slimes. We got pogo fruit over here. Let me grab some of those and we can make ourselves a pogo fruit tree. There you go. The most common fruit found on the range. And some say the most delicious. <laughs> I think I just saw carrots there too. Yeah. Got some carrots. So we got both fruit and vegetables. So that's good. So now we can actually get a pretty good amount of food for our pink slimes. What is this thing? Nothing there. It's just a little slime statue right there. Oh, I really like the graphics upgrade for only that. There are the rabbit slimes that we saw earlier or bunny slimes or whatever. The Hold on. What are they actually called? Cotton slime. Wait, what? Cotton slime. Oh, man, I don't have the inventory space for them. Man, yeah, I need to upgrade my backpack. Have more space for them, but while I'm here, I might as well. Oh, then, yeah, they're dropping plorts and stuff over here, too. Golly. Uh, but for right now, what is that? Is that slime? I forget, slime stone or whatever it's called that you can get from, like, the, the drills and stuff, probably. But while I'm here, and look at that gourd or uh, Largo right there. <laughs> it's a cotton pink Largo. Cool. I'm going to keep calling them the wrong thing. I'm going to call Largos Gordos and Gordos Largos. Golly. But I'm just going to grab as many uh, things around here that I can, like carrots and poker fruit and pink slimes and stuff. 
like, oh, what was this? Is that a drone I could just like recruit instead of like building one my own? Probably, hold on. E to activate. Oh, it's a research drone accessing the GG log. Well, here we are again. I'm sending the drones out to all their original scouting locations. Once I confirm the conditions are the same, I'll get to work. This place, I remember being in awe of these rainbow fields. It felt like being in a beautiful dream. And I guess, in a way, it was, because it ended much too soon. Oh, that's pretty cool there. So we have like little research, kind of like the Hobson uh, little, little holograms that we could read. We have like little research drones we could read over here. Cool. It's like more area over there, which I'm not even going to try and go over there because I have a jetpack right now. And little lag spikes like that, yeah. Because it is an early access, I haven't, you know, ironed out all the performance of the game or anything like that just yet. So as we continue playing the game and as they continue developing it, they're going to add more stuff and iron out some of the some of the bugs and stuff like that, I'm sure, too. Right. Yeah, we got more carrots over here. Cool. So let's actually go start up a farm of it. Actually, I don't think we can. Yeah, we don't have any money. <laughs> we got to feed our pink slimes and get some plorts and then sell the plorts and then use that to get some uh, like farms and stuff set up. Unfortunately, man, uh, let's put this other hen hen up over here. There you go. So at least we have that rooster to take care of those hen hens. And then we have only oh, that we got a plort right there. You're required of slime plort. When slimes eat, they make plorts. Head on over to the plort market to cash in your plort. Yeah. So let's actually feed these guys because they're pink slimes. They eat anything, fruit, vegetables or meat or maybe other like food sources that they added to the game. I don't know just yet, uh, but there you go. And of course, whenever they have a big gaping smile like that, that means they're full and these guys can still eat. And there you go. That one's full unless they change that too. that one can eat again. Yep. And this one? Oh, that one right there could eat again. Oh, let's get him a carrot, though. Wait, what? Oh, he tried to eat it. Come on, eat it! That one looks like he... Oh, is he going to eat it? Nah, I don't know if he is, but I'm going to grab these plorts, though, because I sell them, get a little bit of money, and then use that to upgrade or make, like, uh, new, new, new corrals or whatever. Oh, look at that! We got a chickadee right there! Chickadee just on the loose! Okay, that one's full. And that one... Yeah, okay, those are all full, but I have a bunch of pink slimes here, so I might as well let them all loose. <laughs> there you go. And I'll feed all these over here. Just throw a bunch of carrots on the ground and hopefully they eat them all, right? There you go. So we have seven uh, pink plorts right now. Pink plorts aren't really going to get us the most amount of money, unfortunately. Where'd that chickadee go? Man, I don't know where the chickadee went. Yeah, what are we going to sell? Yeah, I know. I'm gonna plort mark. We're going to sell them here in just a minute, but let's grab those plorts. Might have to section up the pink slimes while I'm... Oh, there he is right there. Awesome. Let's put him in here and hopefully he grows up to be a big, strong hen hen, huh? There you go. Or a rooster. Who knows? There you go. I think we got all the pink ports there. Okay, cool. Now I can drop off the pink slimes back in there. And we have 17 pink ports we could sell. And that's probably not going to be much money, but eh, at least we're going to get started over here, right? We're currently getting 12 like new bucks per port, so that's not too bad. The port market gives you new bucks for your hard-earned ports. Shoot a port into the new... Yeah, we already know about all that stuff. And then Rainbow Island awaits. Yeah, it looks like we were a little bit ahead of the tutorial here. Now they're wanting me to go to Rainbow Island. <laughs> And that about covers the basics. Now it's time to get out there and explore. And no matter where your adventure takes you, always keep something. I don't know what it said. It went off the screen too fast. <laughs> we're up to 204 uh, new bucks right now. So we're almost up to get another corral if we want to or a farm or something. There's another chickadoo. There you go. So how much would it be to get a farm start over here? 250. Okay, it looks like everything's 250 except for the incinerator and the silo and probably the pond that are 450. Yeah. Well, at least we're pretty close. We just need to get a few more plorts and we'll be good to go. But uh, let's go get that new cotton slime that's over there and maybe uh, some other new stuff over there if we could find anything. And, and of course, more pogo fruit, more carrots if we come across them. I think we have enough pink slimes. I don't think we need any more pink slimes. There you go. More carrots right there. Perfect. More food for our pink slimes. And I assume those cotton slimes eat carrots. I'm like, they look like bunny rabbits, so it only makes sense for them to eat carrots, right? Oh, wait, there's a. Oh, no, that's just the stem of that thing right there, man. That's where the boat is, right? Yeah, it just takes us down to the boat. Just making sure I'm exploring like every crevice here and looks like it's turned into nighttime. So I wonder if we're going to come across those phosphor slimes here in just a bit. What is this up here? Is this an area? I'm like it is, but oh, oh. kind of goes down. I don't know if. Wait, does this just meet up? Yeah, it looks like it just meets up over there and looks like we can continue going this way. Man, there's a lot of exploration you could do over here. I wonder what this like Rainbow Valley or whatever it's called. What would, oh, we already got a phosphor slime. Cool, but we can't really do anything with him in the current area we have right now because he's just going to like, oh, whoops, that was a carrot. He's just going to like die whenever it turns to daytime, right? Like he only wants nighttime. So there you go. Put him out there. There you go. And let's see if we can get the cotton. Oh, wow. Look at that. The lighting changed. It's a lot more visible. I thought it'd be like really dark, but no. Cotton slime, a hop, skip and a jump. And no, oh, it's gone. <laughs> let's grab another one over here. Oh, my Largo. Largo slimes are large slime hybrids formed 
when a slime eats a portal, unlike its own. Back them up. Uh, yeah, you can't you can't suck them up, unfortunately. You can in the modded series that I did, but you can't do it in this. And there he goes. Get ourselves a few of these guys. I got a chickadoo. I might just drop him off, but I probably should have looked and see what the uh, cotton ports are going for on the port market. He's probably going to get a pretty good amount of money from him, huh? But let's just keep going around here, see if we can find any new slimes. Looks like just more phosphor. Yeah, phosphor slimes there, just double checking. And there's a, uh, is this the thing that upgrades, updates the map? I haven't even looked at the map. Rainbow Fields. Yeah, look at this. Awesome. So there's our home over there, the conservatory. And this must be one of the new areas we could unlock for like, was it 1800 new bucks? Another area there, another one there and over there. Cool. All right. Let's see if I can zoom out. Oh, jeez. Is this a part of the map too? Golly, there's a lot of area over here. At least for right now in early access, it's pretty big. Huh. And of course, yeah, there's the boat right there too. Cool. Looks like there's an area down here. If I'm over here, I need to kind of backtrack and go over the way over there and... Huh. Okay, well, let's just keep exploring around at least for right now. Yeah, map data acquired. Yeah. So it updates the map so you can actually see all the new stuff, which is really cool. There we go. Get some more cotton slimes. Get more cotton slime ports, which I assume they eat vegetables. Right? If I hover over, yeah, diet vegetables. So if I feed them these carrots, I can get a plort out of them. There we go. Cool. I don't necessarily need to pick them up though, but I'll grab his plorts. These are, yeah, these are phosphor plorts, but I'll grab them. There you go, phosphor plorts. Cool. Let's see if there's anything else around here. See if we like run into a wall or something. Refinery links. Refinery links conveniently transport. Uh, wait, what? This? Oh, wait, well, hold on. There's just refinery links just out in the open now. Like this was a thing you had to build and then place down, but oh, there's tabby slimes over here too, cute. There's another map thing over there too, map data thing. Huh, activate that. I'm like, I don't need angler plort, baddie plort, boom plort, cotton plort, crystal plort. Yeah, well, I, I don't know. Do we have a refinery right now? I don't know. It's probably locked away in some area right now, but uh, conveniently transport resources and ports back to blah, 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 blah. I don't know what it said right there. It always goes off the screen too fast. <laughs> Or at least I'm reading it too slowly, huh? Oh, I can hear a lucky slime. Is it a lucky? Oh, yeah, right there. What do we have to do? We have to, we have to throw chicken dad? Oh, man, I missed it. Well, actually, hold on. He, he's still there. Hold on. Uh, I don't think a chicken do counts, does it? Hold on. If you don't, oh, he disappeared. Man. Um, well, there's no chickens around him for, for him to eat, but at least we got to see him there, huh? Let me grab these fossil reports back. Yeah. Uh, if I remember correctly, golly, there's a lot of tabby slimes around here. <laughs> but if I remember correctly, hold on, is that a... I thought that was a gold slime up there. It might just be another, like, bee drone thing. Uh, but I think the lucky slime, I think whenever you, like, feed him, he gives you, like, 200 new bucks or something like that, which, at least early in the game right now, that's actually pretty worth it, you know? I got two roosteros right there, which is pretty valuable, too. Where am I on the map right now, by the way? Yeah, I'm in a new area. I need to find out where that, like, map update thingy is. So I don't have, like, clouds on my map. Yeah, look at that rainbow island still, which is cool. So hold on, where? That's a phosphor slime. Is that it up there? No, I don't think it is. It's like it was on a cliff somewhere. And look at that, we got like pink phosphor slime largos there. Cool. Oh, it's up here. Okay, let's go hit this thing and upgrade our map. We can actually see all this instead of it being clouds and stuff. Yeah, look at this. And there's a refinery link right there. Cool. It shows me the uh, icon for it. Awesome. So if I wanted to go all the way back home, I need to basically take a right here and go all the way there. Looks like we've explored all of Rainbow Island here, which is pretty cool. Or at least unlocked it. We haven't fully explored, I'm sure. And there's like a cave or something up there. I wonder if we can go to that island if I get the uh, jetpack. But for right now, I may just go back home. We could drop off some of the stuff, some of the ports, sell them. Uh, we got the new cotton slimes, which are cool. Maybe we'll get a corral for them if we can get enough money, which I'm sure we can. We have 200. Or actually, yeah, we have enough right now. We have 304. Where did I get that money from? Did I get that? I must have gotten money from the lucky slime. Which, by the way, hold on. This way? I must have gotten money from the lucky slime because I'm pretty sure we only had like 200 whenever we... Oh, oh, we got tars. Uh-oh, that's a bad deal right there. Let's get, get out of here. I, don't, I, I can't get rid of the tars, unfortunately. I don't have water I can spray at them. I need to upgrade my vac pack, apparently, but I'm just going to get the heck out of here right now. Look at up, they're going to kill the slimes. No. Hold on, we got a research drone right here, too. I didn't read. Accessing the GG log. I was so in over my head when I first started here. I remember hauling jellystone. That's what it's called. Yeah, it looks like it's completely mineable now. You don't need an actual like drill machine to get it now. Yeah, that's what I was thinking earlier. Not slime stone or whatever I called it. I remember hauling jellystone back to the conservatory by hand because I was so excited, breathless and sweating. I was going about everything all wrong, but I was happy. There's little time now, so I'll need these refinery links if I'm going to be efficient. 
This time, I'm going to do it right. Yeah, so you don't have to, you, you can kind of clear out some inventory space by putting like resources inside of the refinery link and that takes it over to the refinery, which I still need to find because apparently, I guess we have a refinery already. We don't need to unlock like a, a new area with like, what was his name? Victor Humphreys. We don't, we don't need to like unlock that. I guess it's already pre-unlocked, which is pretty cool. Well, I've got a pretty good amount of carrots, aka vegetables. I might as well grab more of them right there. I just don't have room for uh, fruit right now, unfortunately. We do have more pink quartz right there, more poker fruit and stuff too. Yeah, I think I'm just going to head back. It looks like... Oh, wait, no, wait. Oh, look at that. We got ourselves a Gordo. Feed him fruit. Man. So hold on. Did that update the map? Does that... Oh, it doesn't tell me. Wait, how... How do we get... Oh, I need to get up somehow. Hold on. Uh, maybe I'll drop a few of these plorts here and grab some of the poker fruit. Because I'm pretty sure that he needs like... So that was the, hold on, that was the phosphor one. I forgot what the favorite food of the phosphor is, but I'm pretty sure he needs fruit, right? Yeah, it requires fruit. So if I give that to him, he's going to need either 25 or 50 before he explodes. So I'm going to get more pogo fruit here. We just don't have enough. There's pogo fruit trees there and there, but yeah, I don't see any more around here, unfortunately. And there's probably going to be tars around here in just a bit too, if I'm not careful. Yeah, I think I need to go up there and that takes me back to the conservatory. There's something up there too. I don't know how to... How to get up there, at least without a jetpack. Yeah, there's the gel. Ah, I knew it, I knew it, Tars. Ah, man. Hold on, where, where are the, oh, they probably ate the uh, the cotton, whatever they're called. I guess I'll grab the pink ports right here just because there's a lot of them just laying around, you know, but. Oh, there's Tars right there. Yeah, that's what happens whenever like a Largo, like a pink cotton Largo eats like a phosphor plort. He turns into a Tar. I believe that's how it happens, right? So definitely want to try and be careful with that, but. At least right now, I'm just going to run away. I can't really do anything else. I'm just, I'm just going to get away from the problem. I'm just running away from my problems over here. <laughs> let's just go back home. And let's see if we can find any more. Oh, wait, what is that? Oh, is that the conservatory there? Hold on. Oh, it is. Okay, cool. Oh, it did update the map. So now I know there's a Phosphor uh, Gorda right there. Cool. And oh, man, he ate a plot uh, right there. But I'm going to grab these plots right here. There you go. Cool. Awesome. And I don't think there's any more just laying around. I can just get free money from. Oh, there's a tar over there already. Okay, let's just leave. <laughs> Let's just go. Hold on, so hair. Oh, yep, it's up there. Man, I am so lost. I don't know where anything is. <laughs> Let's just go back home. Sell some of these plorts, a little bit of the plorts. And um, I guess we could get another corral for the... Uh, I'm like, we could probably put them in the same corral and make Largos out of them. Well, there's a lot of pink slimes there. and they're uh, They could eat. They're like one step away from being full. Oh, one of them escaped. I'm going to get the high walls. No, you're not going to get any chickens. Oh, oh he's really hungry. Hold on, hold on. He's going to eat a chicken if he's not careful, but let's feed him. Feed him. Man, he just needs to eat a carrot. There you go. Cool. We're going to get a plort out of him. There we go. We got a plort. Awesome. Let's see if I can suction him up. Oh, I can't like hold him there. Man, let's see if I can just bring him in just this general direction. Come on over here, pink slime. At least he's smiling. He's not like frowning or anything like that. So at least he is able to eat. But he's not going to jump in there. Yeah, let's just sell the plorts right now. Just so I can clean out my inventory a little bit. There we go. And get a little bit of money too. And phosphor plorts. Phosphor plorts are going for 25 each. Not bad. And we have a pretty good amount of uh, cotton slimes right now too. So where is that escaped? Oh, there's two of them in the escape. Man. All right, let's put them in here and then we'll feed them. There we go. Uh, we have 467. Not quite enough. Just barely. Oh, well, we're going to get enough here in just a bit. We're getting a lot of... Uh, that was all my carrot. Hold on. Let me keep at least one carrot. There you go. Keep at least one carrot. So I could use that to make a farm, a carrot farm here. There we go. I'll grab all these pink plorts so we could use that to make a, uh, a farm plot. That'd be really cool. There you go, and we'll drop off all the slimes I picked up. There you go. And we have 16 plorts right now. Awesome, that's that's definitely enough. So let's, let's go put all the plorts over here in the plort market, get a little bit of money out of them. There you go. And yeah, we have enough to get two plots right now. So we can get one farm plot, one uh, cotton plot. And there's no room over here, cotton slime plot. Yeah, let's, let's do it over here, I suppose, huh? So let's do this. Let's get a corral. Yeah, 2 to 50 for the corral. Yes, let's purchase that. There you go, cool. And we'll place down, I guess, I guess, yeah, we'll put the uh, carrots over here. So we'll go to, yeah, garden. Nothing beats the taste of food grown on your own backyard. Cool. So let's do that. And we still have a little bit of money left over. Cool. You built a garden. Shoot a fruit or vegetable in the depositor. Yeah, that's why I wanted to keep at least one. And now they're growing uh, carrots over here. Cool. I'm sure we could do some upgrades. Yeah, nutrient soil, sprinklers, scare slime, and then remove crops and probably some other stuff here in the future, right? Cool. Uh, but it's going to be a little while until we actually get these carrots that we could harvest. But for right now, there's some cotton slimes right here. I only have one carrot right now, but uh, I guess I'll feed it to one of you guys. And I'll get 25 gold, or new bucks, out of your plort. And I don't know what their actual favorite is. I'll oh, wow, you can actually see your body. I'll was I able to see my body in Slime Rancher 1? I don't remember. 
but you can actually see your legs right now. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Anyways, let's go sell this one plort. We get a little bit of money, but we're still about 150-ish uh, new bucks away from getting another plort or uh, another plot. I mean, <laughs> let's grab this hen hen. Let's go put it over here. I wonder if any of those chickadees grew up by now that were over here. Are they still? Yeah, there's still chickadees over here, unfortunately. But at least we have an empty inventory. And let's just go back over to here so we can get more pogo fruit. Maybe go save enough of them up for the uh, phosphor gordo down there. But yeah, so far I'm not seeing anything. Oh, we got some plorts right here. Yep, cotton plort. I'll grab those. It's basically free money, which is awesome. Oh, more plorts over here, pink plorts. But I'm not going to grab that right now. We, we have enough pink plorts at home. Let's go down here. Is this where we... Yeah, this is where we were. And then it was... Or at least I thought it was. Is it over here? Yeah, there he is, right there. There's the phosphor. Is there anything behind him? It looks like he's blocking something. Like an entrance to a cave or something. Yeah, it looks like a treasure pod back there. Oh, I can't, like, glitch past him or anything like that, unfortunately, man. All right, let's see if we can find a pogo fruit over here to feed him. Seems like it's only going to be pogo fruit in this initial area on Rainbow Island. Yeah, nothing here, unfortunately. Yeah, there's some uh, trees up there, which probably has some pogo fruit. If not, they probably fell down to the ground. There's a bunch of trees there, but... I don't see anything on the ground. They probably already got eaten up. Man. Oh, wait. Is that a skin pod? It looks like a skin pod. I don't think it's a treasure pod, is it? Large pink bonsai. Ooh, it's a... Uh, it, it is a treasure pod, but it just gave me a decoration thing right there. Cool. But for right now, I'm not seeing, like, any poker fruit. It's kind of hard to see it. Now. Oh, grab these. A lot of phosphor plorts right there. I guess they're starting to die because it's... I'm like, it's still nighttime right now. I thought they're starting to die because it's turning to daytime, but no, it's still pitch black outside that's where yeah that's where we got the map upgrade thing or update thing there's some more carrots right here which is good another chickadee right there oh we got we got tars uh-oh let's get ah grab these plorts before the tars get them <laughs> let's grab some more plorts right there it's, ah, i'm getting hit by a tar oh we got it we got a cotton gordo I can, I can give him a few carrots i'm sure those are his favorite right although I, one way to check if it's their favorite is if we feed a oh we got more carrots right here if we feed this to a regular cotton slime, he should give double plorts, right? If it's his favorite, so I don't know if it actually is his favorite. Got more uh, phosphor slimes here. Whoa, that's a new water lettuce? The only glass of water that has your daily dose of fiber. Hold on. Is that a thing I could farm too? It sounds really weird. Water lettuce? Like, it sounds like a way to get water without having to go down to the slime. Well, you can't get water from the slime sea anyways, or one of those water fountain things, but need to make sure I'm getting knocked off the map over here, though. Golly. Oh, man, there's tars all over around here. Hold on. Can I throw the water lettuce at? Oh, I can't. Oh, I thought I could throw it at the... Oh, no. I lost... Oh, it's telling me about the tars, though. Uh, I don't know what happened to water lettuce right there. It's gone. Man. Uh, let's just run. Yeah, it's definitely bright outside right now. So all the all the phosphor slimes are dead now, unfortunately. Man. Uh, well, at least we're in a happy-go-lucky area back here again. <laughs> I love how everything's just smiling over here. The music upbeat and then... As soon as a tar comes here, it's like all aggressive sounding music and everything's like, everyone's like freaking out about the tar. I'm like, I'd be freaking out too if my life was on the line, but I'm not seeing any more fruit around here, unfortunately, for that phosphor slime. Man, I, I want to get at least one poker fruit so we could grow a poker fruit tree at home. But I don't see any around here, just on the ground. Man. All right, well, I may just go back home and we could probably end off this episode right here. At least we got to check out Rainbow Island a little bit. It seems like we unlocked the entirety of Rainbow Island thus far. We saw a few new slimes, a few Gordos already. Didn't think I'd be able to see Gordos this quickly. Yeah, I'm not able to pick that plort up right there. Yeah, see, here's the other Gordo. I could pick this guy up and just kind of... Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. I just kind of... whoop. There you go. Throw him into the slime. See, that's one thing. Oh, that's one way you can take care of him. You can see my health went down right there as he kind of bit into me, so I need to be careful about that. Oh, whoop. There you go. Is I going to throw him into the slime? See? I think so. Awesome. Taking out the trash, huh? What's this? What is this? Oh my gosh, you're like little boxes. Huh? We have like chickens and stuff in there. I guess I get rid of the little baby right there and I'll grab the regular hen hens. Cool. Anything else inside of this? Is that a fall? Well, now the phosphor slime's just going to die because it's daytime right now. Whoops. Oopsie doopsie. I'm sorry I let you on the loose during the daytime there, phosphor slime, but I guess we can look around for more like lettuce. What were what they called? Like lettuce? This thing, water lettuce? Yeah, water lettuce. I kind of want to read about it. If there's a Slimepedia, I guess we can check real quick. Hold on. Yeah, there is a Slimepedia. Cool. Over to this. Resources. Yeah. Water lettuce. Well, it's not like a giant. Oh, wait. Hold on. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. 
like a desert bloom or a deep sea pearl. Water lettuce is a small miracle. The dry season can be difficult for wildlife on the far, far range, but through the humble water lettuce, nature has found a way to provide. Cool. Oh, it's the favorite food of the cotton slime. So this, not the carrots, but the cotton slime loves the water. I might just keep this and grow it at home. And then we can give it to you. What if we have like 25 of them or like 20 of them or however many? Because we already gave him a few carrots already, right? So uh, he should explode once we give him like 25 of his favorite food. There's some more plorts down here. So I'll grab the- oh, more water. Yeah, right there. Yeah, there's just a piece of water lettuce just on the ground right there. Yeah, another one right there. Yeah, I need to get used to it. I'm not used to the water lettuce. We already found a new vegetable, you guys. Cool. I if there's a new fruit. Yeah, there probably is, and I just haven't- Well, I probably have come across it. I just didn't know it was a new fruit, so... You know, you don't know what you're looking for. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything right now. Yeah. I guess I'll just head back home, and we could probably end off this first episode here of Slime Rancher 2. Definitely let me know in the comments down below what you guys... Look at these slimes stacking on top of each other! Oh, that's so cute! <laughs> but definitely let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think of Slime Rancher 2. We're probably going to continue playing it until we run out of stuff to do, because, like I keep saying, it's in early access, so it's not a full, finished game just yet. They're going to add more stuff as they continue working on the game, and probably going to start a new series in a year or so whenever they actually do finish the game and do a full release of it so but right now we're just testing out the early access you know testing out the water seeing what it has to offer and this is definitely not going to be a full-on series i'm probably going to stop playing here pretty soon like i said once we run out of stuff to do but for right now let's actually uh we have 213 yeah we can sell some of these plorts over here and get another uh garden plot set up and we can actually start growing some of that water lettuce for these guys yeah there you go sell some of the cotton plorts there you go and we can actually get a few plorts. Man, we have 700 new bucks right now. Not bad. Cool. Well, uh, we're growing... Yeah, I guess we'll grow it over here. There we go. I wonder if any carrots are already done. Let's get a garden. And let's buy that. There we go. Cool. And let's grow water lettuce over here. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Oh, wow, yeah. Some of the some of the carrots are already done. Awesome. Let's grab some of these. Feed them to the uh, cotton slimes that are right next to us. There you go. And some of the pink slimes, I'm sure, are going to want some food, too. Let's feed these guys. Now feed a few of them uh, some of the water lettuce that we have. There you go. And we can get double plorts from them because it's their favorite food. And... Oh, you can't, couldn't really see him doing double plorts right there. If he did do double plorts. I don't know if they changed that. Maybe they did. Maybe they didn't. Oh, man. That was all of our carrots right there. Whoops. Uh, well, I need to have some for the pink slimes, though, obviously. Oh, whoa. Oh, I thought he turned into a larger right there. That would have been weird. <laughs> Let's grab some of the plorts here. There you go. And there's... Oh, whoa. This one escaped, man. Let's just put them back over here, and we have six regular carrots we can give to the pink slimes. And we have a few more hen hens here. I might, I might just... Oh, the pink slimes are definitely escaping over here. Oh, man, they're eating all the hen hens and roostros and stuff. No! Oh, man, I need to get the high walls upgrade for them. I don't keep doing that. Uh, well, I need to get another roostro, but at least I still have some hen hens to kind of replace these over here. I don't think they eat chickadees, do they? I don't think so. Uh, but yeah, let's get a high walls upgrade, because yeah, they can stack on top of each other like that and then escape, so... 260 uh, new bucks to get that upgrade. So there you go. Cool. And let's grab these guys out of escaped as well. Oh, I can't do it right now. Uh, but let's let's give these guys some carrots. There you go. Empty our inventory a little bit and let's grab these guys. There we go. Awesome. There we go. Oh, he was about to eat a carrot. <laughs> Whoops, I'm sorry about that. Let's get that carrot for him. He was just about to eat that one. Yeah. So do we have carrots just growing naturally around our uh, ranch over here? Maybe. Hmm. I need to look out for that, but we have some... Uh, pink plorts over here too we can definitely get an upgrade to a suction up plort, like a plort collector I wonder how much that costs I guess I could look real quick though hot walls air net yeah I don't need that plort collectors 500 G's yeah well we were able to buy it earlier but I had to do the high walls upgrade there so I'm not able to do it now man uh, I'm just barely not actually I, I could afford it if I sell some of these plorts so let's go over here to the plort market oh man it looks like the uh, cotton plorts went down there 25 earlier now they're 18 this is a new day. Prices got reset. And yeah, the pink plorts went down from like 12 or something down to 8. So ah, that kind of sucks there. But at least we have some more money. We have 564. I think I'm going to get a high walls upgrade over here because these guys are like right next to two farms. So I don't really want them escaping or anything like that. Right. So there you go. So we have 304 left over, which is nah, still pretty decent. These uh, water lettuce things are not done just yet. But they're probably going to be done next episode. So until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoy the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And when you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Slime Rancher 2 comes out, where we're going to continue checking out what Slime Rancher 2 has to offer. And we're going to explore those two Largos that we saw over there and maybe see if there's any other islands we can travel to. 
maybe because there's a lot over here like there's this area over here I don't think I explore that this area there and like this area over here I don't know if we can go to any like this area or like down to this area just yet maybe a little bit later remember with they uh, continue updating the game and whatnot but we're going to find out all that stuff in the next coming episodes but until then thank you guys all very much for watching and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Slime Rancher 2 in early access oh bye there Whoa!